Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a massive ASOS haul. Um, I've actually got a few other pieces from other shops and I thought I was going to do a big haul with them all together and then I thought you know what I'm going to break them down to three. So this one is for ASOS. If you're new here then please subscribe and turn on that notification button. If you're interested in fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel then this is the page for you. I say turn on that notification button because at the moment I'm doing a minimum one video a week but I might add more so if you turn on that bell you will be notified. Um, so yeah, ASOS. Oh gosh, right. So we've been getting a lot of sun here in London and I just wanted to get stuff ready for when lockdown is over and I can go on holiday. I know that this is, you know, what's the word? I know this is probably the worst time to be shopping right now um, financially and with the economy but if you guys follow me on Instagram and you would have seen on a few past vlogs I have been clearing out and organizing my small London flat so I have got rid of a lot of stuff so I can obviously afford to have new things if that makes sense and I'm not a big shopper anyway I digress let's get in because this is a huge haul um right yeah, I have two big bags here. One's already been opened because I'm actually wearing um, one of them. It is a two-piece crocheted um, co-ord and this is so light and breezy. Like this is perfect for a beach holiday because of the crochet. It just lets in a lot of air and lets your skin breathe. Um, I do love the fact that it's not as sheer as most people would have thought especially me on the website I was thinking oh gosh I can only really wear this when I'm on holiday on the beach but I've been wearing it like now um like around the home um well, me in the garden on my daily walks um and it's actually not that sheer so it comes with a cute little um vest you do have to buy these separately by the way and there is also a cardigan that comes with it i will have to say in terms of sizes i do have quite a big bust i am a 32 double d so i did go for a size up in the top and I actually went to that upper size in the bottoms so the bottoms are a size 14 and they actually fit really well I was cautious the fact that this is the type of material that will obviously as well shrink a little bit in the wash so I say um but yeah I mean they are a size of 14 and they fit really really well I don't know if that's something to do with me and obviously lockdown weight gain I don't know but I think they look really cute, I really love them and yeah, I just had to wear this now, I'm so like eager to wear it. The quality is actually really really nice and it comes to a very good length as well um, and so I can wear this with heels if I wanted to. Um, the top, I'll show you like this, um, yeah the top comes to a really nice um, length and it shows off the best part of my waist I think not the most smallest part of my waist and it's just super comfortable and I really really love it next up I don't think I will be trying these pieces on but um, we shall see if I do if there is there'll be a cutaway if not you're gonna have to use your imagination um, a bikini I've done this way too tight but it's like a bandeau bikini um, this is from South Beach. I just absolutely love the colour. These are the bottoms that go with it. Nice high um, leg um, bikini bottoms. This is the type of bikini bottoms that fits my curves really, really well. Um, I'll see if I can insert a picture. I have posted it on Instagram already, but I just don't know how to do that. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, and the bandeau top has this beautiful, like, blue paisley um, design on it with the little frills on the top and bottom just looks really really lovely on like these two the colors just oh, look amazing and I kind of like that they don't match but they match if that makes sense um, it just looks really chic and nice the sizes I got in this was the top the top I went for a size 10 um, and it fits really well 
and the bottoms I got in oh in a size 10 as well so yeah they fit really really well really stretchy fit to your body um this bandeau top as well has the rubber bit on top so it doesn't really slip down which I think it's really key because you just don't want any accidents if you wanted to swim in it um, I haven't given it the swim test but I wouldn't probably wear this in the ocean because it will fall down but I guess if you're in the pool and stuff it will just look really really cute so I got that bikini set the second bikini set I got again Oh no, this isn't from South Beach. This is, I haven't even tried this on or opened it yet. I just think like on holiday, you just need a classic white bikini, but obviously with white, it does fade um, often. So you kind of have to keep replacing them um, in your collection. So this is a high leg and it's kind of got this string detail to it and it just looks so nice on the model I haven't tried this yet I did get this in a size medium um, and I think that will fit absolutely perfectly and the top is the matching top to go with it um, and this is the matching top again it has like this kind of like is that oh no oh this isn't a matching set this is this is from motel so i done this as an oopsie this is from a brand called motel and this top is from south beach oh and it has a label on here it says this garment is made from using sustainable sustainable fabric from recycled yarn that is so lovely um so yeah, I did an oopsie. This is from a totally different brand, but I'll link everything down below. And again, it has that kind of string detail at the front. I just think this is such a nice, this you could swim in it because it's got the straps in, especially if you're bigger bust as well. And this I got in a size, doesn't really say, oh it does. This again is in a 10. So I know this will fit me because it's the same brand as the other one. This I'll need to try, it's a totally different brand. I think they go kind of, yeah, they are the same shade of white and they both have like this string detail. So hopefully this set will go together. Then the third bikini I bought because, I don't know, I'm just having a bit of a, I just wanna go on a holiday holiday dreaming and I haven't bought bikinis in a very long time so I thought I do needed to update my collection I love this one I love the string detailing and the metal you can see that how that would like sit on your body it would just be so lovely this is from a brand called candy pants it's a beautiful shade of blush as well and at the back there it has a little bit of a um, motif as well super flattering on the body like uh, that I saw on the model and I just oh, this metal I hope it doesn't burn while you're in the sunshine but um, it's definitely a bikini you get noticed in and then I got the matching top the bottoms I got in that was a size 12 and this top is in a set size 10 so yeah a matching set sometimes I like things to be mismatched and then there's times where you just that you cannot be a matching bikini I don't know if this is actually going to fit on my bust oh my god that is super small that I don't know if that will fit <laughs> we shall see um has the lovely motif at the back has a string detailing with the chain mail as well I think it'll look really really nice the shoulders don't look like that that high so it looks like I think this shows a little bit of under boob on it um, 
yeah again I will insert pictures or videos so you guys can see but I think this actually is meant to have a little bit of under boob something I've not yet ever done whilst I've been by the pool or the bikini I think when you've got naturally big boobs you tend to not want to show them off that much where if you buy them you just want to show them off um but yeah what i fell in love with this was the color the chain mail it's something that i haven't got in my collection and it just looks really really lovely so yeah so that's the third bikini sorry if it looks like i've moved i've just wanted to sit on a cushion just so i'm a little bit higher it is one of the hottest days of the year in london just an fyi and I'm boiling hot. I've had to like close all my windows because there's kids playing in their backyards or gardens. And um, in London, we don't really have air conditioning. So I am super hot. I might have to pause this and like make myself a cold drink. Um, but this set, I'm breathing through it. <laughs> next, Some next items that I wanted to give a mention. Um, I didn't get them from ASOS, but I know that they are stocked on ASOS. Um, so I will link them down below. Are these lovely mules from New Look. Um, I just think they look so chic, so different. And you really can't go wrong with mules as well. Um, super comfortable, a really great um, heel height. And I just like the square toe. Just It's very on trend right now. They're easy to slip on. Um, super comfortable. The cream goes pretty much with everything. Um, and it's got like a crook effect on the toe, so on this bit, but all of this is smooth leather, and then it has that crook effect again on the heel. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, very sturdy, very nice. So I got those. Another pair of shoes that I just feel like is a staple in anybody's wardrobe, and I had to get new ones because I took my old espadrilles on holiday and I kind of ruined them I didn't really invest in good pet where did I get them from I think I got them from Primark um usually Primark's very hit and miss sometimes I can have stuff from Primark and they will last me for years and years and then sometimes in Primark unfortunately they only last me one summer season and then I have to kind of replace them um so I got these very chic I actually now want to get them in cream because I just think I don't know like cream really does go with a lot more stuff um, but I do think black is really nice a good staple for London but I think if you get the cream pair on holiday it would just be amazing actually I guess you can wear these like on a city break like if you're going to Barcelona, Rome, Madrid um, they'll be really really nice um, sorry I'm saying a lot of European city destinations it's only because I just in the summer I love to vacation in Europe um, yeah these are super comfortable super breathable as well it's got a little peep toe design there really good height um, in heel so you'll be able to walk around in them add espadrilles I mean cobbly streets and all that you're not gonna have an issue so got those in black but I will be getting them in white slash cream um, I'll link those down as well in case you guys want to get them in the cream version Oh, I do have, this is basically all shoes. Um, oh, I do actually have one more item here. So I really wanted a white cropped jumper and I saw this one. Sorry, the lights changed because of the white. Um, and it's from a brand called Pimky. I got it in a size up because I really wanted it to be oversized, wear it with joggers, but it is cropped as well. It's also like a great piece, a cardigan like this, just to have over your shoulders for when it gets a bit chilly in the evenings, but you don't want to be wearing a jacket. You can just have it like this and then or wear it. I just think it looks very chic and very um tennis like and that is very big right now this whole tennis athleisure I can never say the word athleisure tennis athleisure trend um so many people are wearing like tennis skirts and tennis gear I think because obviously like Wimbledon was cancelled 
I also really like it like off the shoulder and then you just tie up the sleeves and you can just kind of have it like that it looks so nice so um yeah very basic um but so effective and it's something again I don't really have in my collection I have a lot more chunkier knits that you can't really um wear as a top or as a throw over on your shoulders they are more like winter based so this is a great summer based item and it's a great like holiday item instead of taking loads of jackets you just take that nice light knitwear sorry guys I had to just make myself a quick coffee so feel free to pause this video get a drink and come back and tuck in it to these shoes okay so I went on a bit oh so I went on a bit of a shoe splurge and the reason being I had so many old shoes that I was just holding on to and I wasn't really wearing and I really do feel like there's certain things in your wardrobe you need to invest in and that is what I've done in here. I got rid of so many old stuff, shoes that I had like kept in my shed, I got rid of because I don't know why, like sometimes I can be a bit of a hoarder and it's just not good, it doesn't serve my purpose, If any, I'm one of those people that i rather have few of really good things and have a really clear space than have loads of things and my mind be cluttered and it stress, stresses me out. So for my well-being, I had to declutter a lot of my shoes. It's weird because, like I said, I'm like a walking contradiction because I like clear spaces and only having a few of things, but at the same time, I can be a bit of a hoarder. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but yeah. So I got rid of a few shoes and then I was just like, oh my god, I don't have any shoes for spring and summer, hence why I bought those um, two. But also these, I mean, so these shoes are a mixture of just upgrading my basics um, and some are spring, summer appropriate, especially in London. So this first pair from June, I actually don't even know which ones these are. Uh, okay, right. So I decided I really loved, like, I love loafers. And I, for a very long time, I wanted to buy a pair of loafers. I love the Todd loafers. Um, they are super, super expensive. So June have a very good alternative with like this cushy bottom um, kind of style. I'll show you like this. Um, and I have tried to get loafers in the past and I have a very wide foot unfortunately um, so this is a wide fit so hopefully this will be super comfortable I think I could have gone down I don't know I don't know if these make my <laughs> I will show you properly they are super comfortable I like the wide foot I just don't know if they feel big they are a size 6 and I am a size 6 maybe because of the wide foot of it it's um they feel big on my foot um but these are like super comfortable than i've ever tried so these are really good with jeans um you could probably wear with skirts um but they're just such a classic and i know i'll be wearing these for many seasons to come um super comfortable they do look though very big but they are comfortable to wear I just need to see if they make my feet look big or not but I know if I didn't get the narrow the wide fit it's just way too narrow this loafer I don't know I've tried them before and the normal fit is too tight we'll, we'll see but yeah this is the first pair I've got it in like this classic kind of blush camel color that will go with loads of different outfits um, and I love the tassel detailing, I love the, the extra cushion inside, the sole of the foot, um, plus on the bottom. So these are going to be really good to walk in and I just think they're a great investment. I definitely think after these I will save and purchase maybe Todd's um, because my friends that have got them love them and they last a, a lot longer. I don't know how long these will but they are very good quality. I would say they're more, they're not super expensive but they're kind of like in the middle mark so... Yeah, I got those. Another pair from June. This purchase was inspired by the fact that I really love the Chanel toe cap. 
so I'm just going to rip this off, I think. I, yeah, I'm obsessed with the Chanel toe cap shoes. Unfortunately, right now, I can't splurge on buying them. So I thought, okay, again, mid-range price tag, I will get something that is very Chanel-esque. Again, in this beautiful blush colour super comfortable i feel like all june shoes come with like extra comfort like this sole is like rubbery and it's padded i've had like ballerina pumps before where it is literally like walking on the ground and my feet are so sensitive and in general like for feet you shouldn't be like you should really take care of them and not walk or stand on really hard surfaces um, but the ballerina shoes, you can feel like every pebble, every stone on the ground. And so I just, I never wore them, but yeah, I was still keeping them, so I chucked them. This one has a very, very thick sole on them. It's got like this little buckle bit here and a bow and the toe cap. I just feel like this is such a classic that you kind of really need in your collection um, if you don't have it in your shoe wardrobe. They fit like a glove <laughs> yeah very classic and very chic i got some mules in white i was never a fan of mules before um but actually i think they're just very good like to have and they're very chic and you know it'll just elevate my wardrobe i hope and i hope i will go to wear these they are closed shoe i think these are good, again, spring, early summer, late summer, um, early autumn. They just will kind of, they let your feet breathe. Um, I like that it has a contrast on the front. It has like a woven effect and then this gold buckle as well. The base of the shoe, again, is rubber, so you're not going to be slipping, sliding around. Um, and it will just give you that extra cushion on your foot that you will need. These are just very like easy slip on. No, they are perfect. They fit perfectly. Um, again, all size sixes. Something I just don't have in my collection at all. I don't have mules like this. I thought they're like grandma shoes. But as I'm getting older, I'm kind of really refining my wardrobe. Having pieces that are young, fun, but also very elegant and timeless. I, you know, I could be walking down the streets of Monaco in these shoes and they're comfortable, no one's going to bat an eyelid, but very feminine and chic. So, highly recommend getting a pair of white mules like this if, yeah, if you need something that's smart but yet casual and that you could just slip on and go. They're just a pair of black loafers. These were inspired by, obviously, the Gucci loafers that everybody has but um, obviously I can't afford the Gucci loafer lifestyle right now. Um, but these are just really good with skinny jeans, mum jeans, running to the shops. Something, again, that I don't have in my collection. And they are, they do look really nice. These were on sale as well. I think the full price was like £45. Um, and I got them in the sale. So I thought that because of the quality, like the price tag, that the quality would be just a little bit more up there again something that i don't have in my wardrobe that in my shoe wardrobe that i need i think they're just they will go with so many things you can really dress them up dress them down i've got that gold buckle detailing very smart very elegant and yeah um i just i needed to get a pair of these so i was very lucky to find them on sale and then my last pair of shoes this was really a fun instant purchase i definitely feel like i've saved the best for last but again i just totally forgot i ordered them you can already see bright pink this was inspired by obviously the jimmy choo shoes um and again they're flat just something that I can wear um, in the evenings or even during the day if I really wanted to be bougie. Um, oh my god, these just look so nice. 
and I got them really affordable guys I will link them down below for you but this will just elevate any outfit I really love this bright fuchsia color it does go away from my nudes blushes and creams that I tend to go for at the moment but this just kind of pop of color it's just I'm gonna be wearing these a lot and because they are flat um, I will be getting a lot more out of them I just don't really wear my heels anymore um, and especially now because of lockdown no one's really going out for dinner um, so this is just a really good alternative I actually don't even know if I can still walk in heels <laughs> it has been that long since I've worn heels um, and yeah just really lovely the pointiness of them they just look no one's going to know that these are not Jimmy Choo I guarantee it people are going to think that these are a Jimmy Choo pair of shoes oh, love love them are you sure that's all of them yes that is all so that is everything in today's haul i really hope you enjoyed it i thought this would be a really great break away from my vlogs at the moment my vlogs and my days are kind of very the same and mundane um i am in a small london flat so there's not really much space for me to show you around and i do want to keep a lot of like my home private to me so yeah uh so yeah so thank you so much guys for watching and like i said again please subscribe if you're new i would love to have you on this channel you can follow me on instagram come say hey say that you found me on youtube and let's get talking about beauty fashion and all that good stuff um please give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you want more fashion hauls from me you guys really seem to love my fashion content so i'm going to give you what you guys want and i do have a really big purchase on its way that i will be unboxing for you guys and i'll be doing a giveaway once i hit 5k that is my next milestone it will be a huge giveaway um, and because i want to do it internationally i'm thinking of doing it as a gift voucher so you guys can shop online or i might even just pay the money directly to your paypal but i need to be hitting that 5k guys um so yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in my next haul video that i have that i'm gonna film right after this one <laughs> bye guys Mwah.